You're watching the 50 states of AR-15 on Big Gunner 81. Brought to you by BATArms.com. Welcome everyone to the 50 States of AR-15 Project. I'm your host, Rick, aka Big Gunner 81. Hope you're all doing well today. And uh, you might recognize this rifle as the California rifle that I'm holding right now. Uh, this project, the 50 States of AR-15 that is, is a living project, meaning that changes can be made to these rifles along the way, which is kind of cool. So one of the things we're gonna be doing is doing a little update to this rifle with a couple of items from a company called Medieval Industries. And we're gonna kind of show you what those are right now. So here we have Medieval Industries 360 degree vertical foregrip. We're gonna kind of demonstrate how this installs and what it does exactly in just a moment. Uh, the second product we have from Medieval Industries is their TX3 um, end plate here, which we'll kind of go ahead and unpackage and kind of install and, and show you what it all does and everything in just a moment. So let's check it out. So I went ahead and took them out of their packaging. The TX3 is actually this little tool here that is actually inside the end plate. Now what it does comes out like that, it has a, an earth magnet there, but it also when it is installed on the end plate, you rotate it into place and it, and it gets locked in there, so it's not gonna come out. And what does this tool do? It's for the takedown pins on your rifle. It allows you to kind of give you something to kind of push that takedown pin in with and so forth. So uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to how it kind of pops into place. So just kind of goes down on one side, slips into the little groove or opening on the one, and you rotate it. Now this thing is not going to fall off. It's even if you, you were to overcome the magnetism aspect of it, it's locked in the channel. Um, kind of a neat little nifty tool just to throw on the back of your rifle and have something to be able to take your rifle down with if you need to. Um, also has ambidextrous uh, quick detach sling you know attachment points um, right here. You, know, you can see. So a very nifty little end plate uh, set up there. So let's go ahead and check out the uh, vertical foregrip next. So the 360 degree vertical foregrip comes in a couple different styles. You can get it with a uh, key mod, which is what we have for this one. You can get it in a Picatinny style mount, and you can also get it in a uh, M-Lock compatible mount as well. Now, a couple of things about this before we get into the main feature of it. There is storage actually inside this model. You take off this little cap on the bottom and it's got a nice little rubber O-ring and so forth. You got some space to, to throw some stuff down in there if you want. Um, and whatnot. So you can, you can store something in there, which is kind of cool. Maybe you've got some NFA documents you gotta roll up and put in there, or you know, laminated copy or something. I don't, I don't know. Just throw some cash in there, whatever you want to hide. Um, <laughs> so the way this works is you basically loosen this up, the two halves of this uh, vertical grip. And you notice this ball now rotates. Well, not only does it rotate 360 degrees, but you can also angle it. There's only one slot for angling it, so um, you can't rotate it around. <laughs> A full 360 at whatever angle up to you know basically being um, parallel with your handguard or maybe even a little bit past actually um, and then when you tighten it up by tightening two halves together like so it is locked together it's pretty cool how it works pretty simple so we're gonna go ahead and install it right now on the rail on the California rifle that I've got here and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, show you how it works so we're gonna go ahead and start with installing the end plate here and uh, Go ahead and start doing it. So now I'm going to go ahead and install the uh, 360 degree vertical forebrick. By the way, also made in the USA, out of California. So the TX3, it's kind of small <laughs> to show you on the camera here, but I think you gotta get the gist of it. Basically, if you wanna take and uh, knock out your takedown pins, you just lay it over it, it's magnetic, so it'll stick on there as well. And you just use it, your thumb pushes in only so far because it stops because the way it's designed, it'll just stop against the side of your receiver and it pops your pin up. So now you can grab it, as you can see, hopefully. Um, pretty simple uh, tool and uh, it's captured nicely inside here. Basically you have to wiggle it kind of into place and rotate it. 
Now the magnetism is going to hold it, but also the two little teeth, as I mentioned, uh, also grab onto it. So it's not going to just like fall out under recoil or anything like that. And uh, of course my stock kind of comes up pretty close to it when it collapses as well. Um, next, the, uh, the 360 degree vertical foregrip, probably one of the coolest things they've got. Um, basically, loosen this up, kind of had to take both hands. As you can see, you can swing it around 360 degrees and angle it, you know, where it's either 90 degrees to your rail or, you know, just past uh, being parallel. So some people might want to run one of these, you know, off to the side so that you can, you know, hold it like this because it's kind of gives you more of a natural grip, I guess, versus holding it vertically. Um, but you can do either or. It's really up to you. Um, if you have it angled, then you can really tighten this down with one hand because the stem from the little ball uh, will be in this channel and then it won't rotate the top half of this. But if you're holding it vertical and you're trying to tighten it with one hand, um, like you're just grabbing on the bottom, it's going to spin. You can try to do it too, but then you really can't get the torque on it. So that's why I grabbed two hands loosened up before. Um, once you get a nice, you know, two-handed tightened, uh, you get that thing tightened up with two hands, then it, it doesn't really rotate. It takes a little bit of effort. You can, you can get it too if you really try to overcome it, but friction is what's holding it ultimately. So go ahead and loosen it back up. Um, actually, yeah, I'd probably take two hands again to do that. As I was saying, if you have it where right now it's loose, you turn it just a little bit so that the, again, the stem from the ball engages into uh, the slot on the handle. Then you can make adjustments to it. You can angle it forward at an angle. So now if you don't want to be totally 90 degrees to your, to your rifle, you can have it angled. You know, you can do whatever you want with it makes this rifle that much more yours. Um, sets it up exactly how you need it. And of course, you know, you can loosen it back up if you want to, um, you know, put it in your storage case or you want to collapse it up so that it's kind of tucked up out of the way like so. Uh, you can do that when you put it in your case. So, again, from Medieval Industries uh, out of California, you can check them out. Made in the USA. Uh, product is made right in California, from what I understand. And, um, yeah, two options that they offer, the uh, TX3, uh, end plate with a takedown tool and I guess the TX3 technically is the takedown tool but the end plate comes with it I guess the way to really say it um, and then of course the uh, 360 degree vertical foregrip which is a pretty nifty tool on its own so hope you guys enjoyed the video and go ahead and check out Medieval Industries and thanks for watching as always and until next time have fun shooting